Well, we got this field done. The sun's in, the, in your eyes. The monitor says 37.2, and the map says 36. So we got her all unfolded there. And uh, let's go ahead and fold it up. To do that, I gotta push this button here and that at the same time. So let's see if I can do that. all folded up. This lever here I run the vacuum with and there it's on and I got this piece of hose in here so that you don't pop it into neutral because if you pop it into neutral then you end up blowing seals out of stuff. So that, that works for that. Okay so we got it up and we got to go and I got to let her down so I can, uh, we let her down here. And what I'm going to do that for is those two outside wheels closest to the tractor now are going to get latched up so they don't drag down the road. I'll show you how we do that. latch here and it just grabs under there this thing here, this black piece grabs and that's what keeps it from one on either side and we put the pin in here because we don't want it accidentally coming apart going down the road That's what we're doing, we're hooking this, this up. And there. We're ready to raise her back up. That's how she's hooked up, right on the three point there. And all them darn hoses and wires and crap. Transport mode. I got about 26 acres left. I haven't recorded much of anything on my other fields because ah, this is a pain in the butt to try to hold a camera in and record what you're doing unless you got auto steer. But I tried a couple spots and that's where. Uh, that's where my rose got a little wave in it, so there's my speed, can you read the bottom bump number, the bottom number if it wasn't so shaky would be the speed four and a half, but when I'm planting I'm going about five, well I try to go five as close to as possible because that's what I got my fertilizer calibrated for. So it's five mile an hour. So this ground is pretty rocky because I had cattle out here all winter. Now they're all spring. I fed them out here when it was so dang muddy down below. And uh, poor calves didn't. I didn't have anywhere to go with them calves. So I let them out here where they could at least get on some solid ground and out of the mud. So, but. I saved some calves, but I'll, you know, I'm sure I'll pay for it and yield, but I think calves are worth more than the corn will ever be, so. Here we are, cruising down the road. 
<laughs> it wasn't that long ago when it was cold yet. Freezing. I think it froze a couple nights last week yet, but it was about 85 degrees today. This field here will be beans this year. I'll have to do that. Saturday. Today is Monday. Saturday I uh, planted and Sunday I uh, sprayed all day after church and then today I sprayed till about three and there's the field we just come out of on the other side of that tall tree, that brown hill over there. That's what we just got done with. We're going to not look at the rows right now because there was too many other things to concentrate on besides straight rows. Huh. I tried to do straight rows, but uh, once in a while I'd get a little off track and get a little wave in it. But, okay, that's all.